in his case it was not four mids it was four mix four mix so you know in case that's in case that's relevant Unigen. The engine of something? I didn't see. So this is Cradle. Um, it's a game that has... Mm, 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 mm. Nah, let's skip it. Has something to do with artificial intelligence, I think. Uh, I think it's like a walking simulator slash adventure type game. But these are all guesses that I've made from very little evidence. So let's let's discover what this game is together. Some kind of VR helmet is involved. Am I about to put that on? I'm getting lower and lower to the ground. Okay, here we go. Whoa, dude, last night was, oh, okay, and some kind of, looks like, like a tree hut or something, some kind of hut anyway, what's this, Tabaha, I got fat and now I smell bad, wait, wait, it's my note, it is my note, I wanted to read my note though, there we are. I didn't say goodbye to Ongots. I waited for him all day, but he didn't return. What? What? Why does it keep stopping? Is it like... Okay, so we gotta heat the red pot, add a glass of water... You... Oh my gosh, I gotta do a lot of things. Do I need to do that? Is there a red pot in here? Hmm. There's a lot of stuff in here. Some cleaning product. Oh wow, everything is a thing. Oh! Um... What am I doing with this in my hut? Uh, what? Wait. Wait, what? No! No, take that back! I don't want that. Anibish, please tell Tabaha that I won't be changing bodies yet. No need. They fix up my sight, and I'm grateful. I don't ask anything of Providence. My role is a modest one. Am I a robot? Is this just robot land? Or some kind of shrine? All right. Well, I can pick this up. I'm nervous about picking it up. What's in here? It's been shut for many years. Oh, okay. Uh, I don't know the password. Okay, so that needs a password. Hmm. That goes there, I'd say. Yes. It's becoming wearisome to constantly refute sensational yarns of humans living with modified genocopies. We will therefore simply offer a universal fact. The neurocopy is viable only when embedded in its native inborn gene pattern. Replacing as little as a few nucleotides in your genocopy would sever this bond. And it is well documented what happens to the consciousness to become disconnected from the body. Okay. Looks like popular science. I used to read popular science when I was a kid. Um, right? We got cups and things. Got... They succeeded in reading the brain for information and storing it as a digital copy. The new technology has been dubbed neurocopying. So what's a neurocopy? Memories? By hearing this question, the developers favored us with an indulgent smile. Evidently, it's not quite memories. Fair enough. We shall let the essence of the technology remain a mystery for now. Instead, let us celebrate another momentous victory in the world of science. It may not yet be the complete consciousness transfer some are hoping for, but is nevertheless a steady step toward the goal damp rags. <laughs> the contrast between these two things I've looked at is pretty interesting. Um, okay, got, is this the red pot? Does this go here? <gasps> got a red pot. And a, looks like a milk barrel? New task added. 
Where are new tasks viewed? Oh. So this is the tab button. Add a glass of water. Okay, where do I get water? And what are you? Uh, a thing goes here. No flower in the Fido cup. I need to put a flower in the Fido cup here. And I can't use it here. Okay. Ah, that's just what? No, don't go under there. What? Can I even? Yeah, we don't want to do that. S seriously? Can I just put you back on the desk, please? Okay. What am I trying to do? So I could get a flower. That's not an interactive flower. I could also find a glass of water. Is there a sink? Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. Here's a glass. No, it doesn't work. Okay. Um. Can I? Aha. Uh -huh. I got a glass of water now. Heat the furnace with a few wooden logs and a sheet of paper. A few wooden logs and a sheet of paper. What's this? Boing. Well, that didn't further my goals at all. Uh, wooden logs. Wooden logs. Wooden logs. Do to do. Can it be any paper? Can it be like this newspaper? Okay, so how many wooden logs do I need? A few. Is it just all the wooden logs? Is that what I need to do? So, how do I. Is there a button to push? Is there a... How do I turn on the furnace? Is this... Oh, a lighter. There we go. Wait. Wait, where'd he go? There we are. I don't have a button for nicely setting something down. I either drop it at my feet or I throw it. Those are like the only two things I can do. Had two cut, cut plum olive fruits. Plum olive grows near the... Oh, oh, do I need to leave? Oh, oh, look at this place. <gasps> Socks? Can I put on some... What happened here? Uh, this looks intentional? That's interesting. Wait. Drying carrots? Okay. Well, let's head down to the lake. Get some plum olives. Where am I? Feels like the savannah? Does it, mean, does it mean all the way to that lake, or will this little pond here do? <laughs> Dan31 suggests that a, uh, a scene from Alien might have happened in that shirt. It makes me wonder, like, is... Am I playing someone who's, like, uh... Iron Man or something? Red fruit on what tree? What... what tr oh, up here? Yeah, it makes me think I'm, like, Iron Man or something. So that I can, uh... Yeah, you know, so I need, I need like I need a shirt with a hole in the chest because there's some maintenance that I need to do regularly or something. Um, okay, so we need something that will knock 
that fruit guy. Do I need to throw something or maybe hit the tree with something? <sighs> Is there like a stick I can pick? Oh, stick? Are you a stick? No, you're a root. Okay. It's gotta be something near here, right? I shouldn't have to like wander all over the world to find something for the tutorial. None of these rocks seem interactive. Um Dan 31 says a stick in the little mound. I'm not sure which little mound you're talking about. A dance is never mind. Is it something I already tried and it didn't work? So I'm pretty sure none of these trees are going to be interactive at all. Yeah, so I don't know if I'm looking for something to throw, something to shoot, something to smack with. This could be the end of the road for me if I can't very soon figure out what it is I'm supposed to do. I guess I could look on the internet uh, for the answer. Could take you all on that journey. Maybe there's some... This looks severed, but no, can't pick it up. Maybe there's something back home that I can bring with me? Like that ball? It's a long way to walk though. I like this world though. I can't quite figure out where I am. But I'm interested in where I am. Alright, let's try this. Huh. I wonder what's making the ball quiver like that. Does it just lag behind my movements a little bit? Is my camera smoothed in a way that the ball isn't? Okay, so let's see. There we go. Hey, hey, come back. Come back, you. So I just need a couple of these, right? Hey, come back. Come back. Hey, stop that. Where are you going? Oh, that didn't do much. Okay, so. Oh, please, please tell me I don't need to run these back one at a time. Is there, is there anything I can do? If, please game. Oh, oh, the E button. <gasps> the E button puts things in my inventory. That would have been a useful tool tip. You know what, I'm not gonna get that ball. I don't know where it is, I don't care. So Dan31 said, press E to put in your inventory. Was that a prompt that you saw that I didn't? Did I just did, did they prompt me with that or and I just breezed by it and didn't notice it? Wait, they need to be cut plum olives, right? Do I need to cut them?
Or does it just mean I've cut them down from the tree? I don't see a knife. There's a fork. There's a... There's a whatever this is. Keeping that on... I don't know, it seems important. Now let's try just putting it in. Fruit needs cutting, okay. Uh, a fork. How do I cut? I'm starting to get frustrated. seeing a what is this oh vitamin boost additive for birds fermented mare's milk yum uh, what is this stuffed peppers okay can't interact with these my toothbrush Oh, is, is, oh, no, I can't pick it up. Yes, Dan31, I want hints. I'd much rather make progress during the stream. Oh, a flashlight. Neat. I'd much rather uh, make progress during the stream and not bore people to death uh, than do it as a purist. Oh. The drawer under the cups and... Oh, there's a drawer. Ah, knife. Oh, oh okay. Whoops. All kinds of stuff here. So, is there a good way for me to set something down? without dropping it at my feet? Or is that just what I need to do? Guess I just need to op operate on the floor here. Do, do, do. Slice. Ah. All right, now let's put these in. Okay, so now, add dried root. Use a mortar to grind it. Oh my gosh. All right, mortar. That's a teacup, right? That's not a mortar. Nothing in here. Oh, oh, wait a minute. Maybe the thing I got was a mortar. Let's try this. Okay, that's... Uh, maybe I could grind it with a bucket. Okay, hold on. Should I just... Nope. It's not... What I thought it was, okay. What's this? Karunga, of course. Uh, Dan31 says I should look higher. Aha! Uh -huh. Squish, squish, squish. Uh, 
Put it in there. And then we're good, right? Salt jars to the right of the pepper. Oh, thank you. So where's the pepper, people? Hmm. Tiny white crystals. No, I think it's salt. Well, maybe not. Dan31, I'm sorry, I've got to rely on you. Is it just not here at all? What's that? Could be anything. Probably overcooking it. Where did I put that lighter? Did I throw it? I want to light that candle. I probably threw that lighter when I was done with it, and now I'll never find it again. So these boxes, in the, you're saying these boxes in the shelf are actually it? How can I tell which one it is? Let's just pretend that was it. Okay, maybe that wasn't... Maybe, is it just going to tell me when I've got it? <gasps> it's done! Bring Ongots his breakfast. Where's, where's Ongots? Did, wait, did it say where Ongots was? We'll show up as soon as he smells the food. Wait. Feed him and change him lest he gets sick, follow his recipe? Sell all the stuff you like and toss the body in the river? I won't be... I just, I never got to the end of this when I read it before. What the crap is going on? Oh, hello. Are you on guts? Here, eat it. Oh, does it need to go here? There we go. Have eat your soup, eagle. You know, if there's one thing that you know about eagles is that they love soup. Okay, well, my game's saved. I must have done something right. And he needs his vest changed. Okay, the clasps first. Oh, wh what? What? Uh, uh, okay, this world is weird, so replace his vest, with what, is it this one, there, put that on there, so now you've got a big hollow hole in your chest and you, see ya 
What have I accomplished? I'm not even sure. Oh, it does. That's true. Best has some numbers on it. 2053. So I guess... Okay. I've got a journal now. Thanks, Tabaha. My name is Enabish. I've always lived here because I can't go anywhere else. Grandpa Batjin said a lot of people used to live around here, but they all died because the uh, when the dome blew up. The area has been deserted ever since. Aside from myself, uh, aside from myself, Batjin and Ongots. Ongots has got very powerful claws. He obeyed my father and helped him hunt hares. I don't remember my parents. They died in the explosion as well. When the wind picks up, it gets pretty chilly. You can find refuge from it, but not for long. You can't last long without light. That's why I crafted this transparent layered vest, like in that program about greenhouses. It keeps Unguts warm during the day, and when the night's chill arrives, I put him into another warm vest. I collect and digitize flowers. I look for the prettiest ones and make phytocopies of them. Tabaha takes them into town and sells them. The earnings keep him afloat while Grandpa and I buy cheese. <laughs> We've got a new genometer. It measures everything. Flowers, insects, people. I clocked, uh, it clocked Batjin at 47 and the tree by the gate at 24. Even the stool got measured, though that took a little longer. When aimed at Ungots or myself, it still shows the same old error. Grandpa says it's all providence. Maybe he's right. So it's a thing that measures living things, and I'm guessing that... I mean, that eagle didn't look like a genuine eagle. Maybe this it doesn't work on robots? I have this dream sometimes. I'm in a strange city. The day is waning. Folks are walking in the distance. There's somebody beside me, but I don't see who. The dream is fleeting, always leaving me with a strange sensation, like I'm supposed to pass something to somebody, but I can never remember what or to whom. I feel some kind of mix of anxiety and chagrin, and it makes me want to go there, to that town. Grandpa Batjen has died. He wanted to do a transfer after losing his sight and mobility. Tabaha even brought him the equipment, but Grandpa died in his sleep. He was buried at the spot he'd requested. Tomorrow marks the four-year anniversary of Grandpa's funeral, which means I'm already 23. Everything is still the same. I tried leaving again, but no dice. I simply lose consciousness like before. I want to find that town from my dream. Perhaps I'll risk it and do a transfer. Grandpa's got no use for his helmet these days, but I might. If I get lucky, I'll wake up in a new body in Ulaanbaatar. Too bad the genometer won't show my number. I know how dangerous it is. When I look up at the poster over my bed, for some reason I can remember, uh, for some reason I remember my toys. When I was a kid, maybe five or so, I had a favorite toy, an odd little space case. Uh, Unguts had found it somewhere and brought it to me. Then I saw dark swirls in the field, got scared, and stashed the toys away for some reason. And to make sure I didn't forget the hiding place, I came up with a clue. Come out of the yurt and fly straight as the crow. On a rock with a snag, look for an arrow. A sorrowful tree will show you the way. A box in the sand will a mystery betray. But now I can't find it. <laughs> okay, so come out of the yurt. Find an arrow on a rock. Then there's a sorrowful tree and a box in the sand. Okay. Game saved. Your child's stash is in. So, my child. Or is it just. Is it me, like. My stash that I have made as a child? There's an arrow. It's pointing to the left. It says a sorrowful tree will show me the way. Uh, was it one of these trees that I just passed through? Which one's a sorrowful one? They all look pretty sad.
Let's make sure I went the right direction. Wait, where'd that rock go? Came out of the yurt. Ah, it was this guy. So the arrow here says left. Is it just... Is this the sorrowful tree showing me the way? Okay, so... There's a sorrowful tree that'll show me the way... And then it's buried in the sand. Oh, Dan31 says that I'm probably looking for a tree with an arrow in it or on it or something. Ah, aha, like that, right? I guess it's sorrowful because it's fallen down, I guess. Okay, so, so we need to go this way. And then there's a box in the sand. Huh? huh? Some kind of thing. Got a thing. Little case, same as the one on the poster? A Mongolian comic book hero slays a dragon. Hmm. That was fun. Okay. So now I've got a thing. Connect the processor. Okay, so my favorite choice of was a processing device, the main part of a mechanical body. There are two more parts in the yurt. Use them to repair the young android woman. She may provide valuable information. Okay, so let's connect the processor to the young woman. Whoa, wait, wh who are you? See you later. What was that? This game's doing a pretty good job of sort of just making me wonder what's going on. Part of me wants to just take off in a direction and see how far I can go, but uh, no, wait, in my journal I talk about, since that's my journal, it's talking about how I go a certain distance and then I just fall unconscious. Oh, wait, wait, did I miss my yurt? I missed my yurt, didn't I? Where's my yurt? Oh, there it is. Hello, yurt. That, this is fascinating, though. What's that over there? Hmm. Probably no eventually. But apparently I can't go more than a certain distance from the yurt, or I shut down. That's probably how they handle, like, the fact that they, I mean, they wanted this huge open terrain, but it's dangerous to give the player an open space, because they'll just run. Oh, that this is useful at some point. All right, so. Let's, I need to free a slot, okay. So now, what? Your favorite toys is, okay. Find and connect the synchronizer. Is that this? The, um. Oh, this is the thing that scans stuff, right? Like if I go out here, can I scan a tree with it? I don't know how this works. I keep hitting the E button thinking that's going to pick things up when that is not how it works. Okay, the synchronizer. What's this? Strange device on the yellow table. I'm not sure what it is.
Let's put that down. Strange device on the... This thing? Uh, uh. Do I need to somehow connect this to her? error can you produce it's not recommended okay what does it want me to do find and connect the synchronizer it's there can I put this back I don't know what it was Oh, what, oh, what's this? Is this it? Is this what I need? Oh my gosh. Did, did I just drop her head under that? Oh, there it is. Can I use the... Is this the synchronizer? Can't use it. Is this it? Nope. Dan31 says her head is not the only thing that can be removed. Oh my gosh! Alright. So now I've got some options. Ah, uh, there we go. The container? Is this the container? Okay. Switch her on and talk to her. Uh, should I connect more parts of you? Hmm. Maybe later. Hey there. Hi. Oh, I have a voice. Hey. Can you hear me? Where am I? Somewhere in Mongolia, in some yurt. What happened to him? I don't know. I don't remember anything either. Was it you who switched me on? Yes. Are you a Volga? I don't know. But I doubt it. Where did you get my neurochip? I found it in a cache underground. What cache? A long time ago, I hid a cache of toys in the ground. You were playing with my neurochip and then buried it in the ground? <laughs> <laughs> Looks that way, but I don't remember any of it. My name is Enabish, I think. And you are? What do you want? I want to know what's going on here. You're not a Mulgar. I don't know what a Mulgar is. Can you explain? Someone who kidnaps people and sells their substance. What substance? I don't understand. My name is Ida, and I understand even less than you do. I do not recognize this body. There's something wrong with it. I can't see anything, and I don't feel my legs. What's wrong with my legs? They're, um, fused together. Kind of like a vase. What? You've got a flower vase where your legs should be. That's ridiculous. I'm scared. Calm down, Ida. Tell me, are you a robot? I'm a human being in an artificial body. You mean you've had your body replaced? Half of humanity had their bodies replaced. Where did you get my neurochip? Ida, I've just now found it in an old cache. The cache you made when you were a child. Yes, 
if my journal is to be trusted. How could my neurochip have ended up in the hands of a child? Ongots brought it. My father's trained golden eagle. I don't know where he had found it. How long ago was that? Long. Eighteen years ago. Listen, Enabish. I feel ill at ease here, and scared. I want to remember who I am and return home. Please help me. I want the same thing. How can I help? You need to call the evacuators. They'll come and take me away. I've been trying to send a request, but it's useless. My marker isn't answering. What marker? The authenticity marker. It's like my passport. It's got all my personal data. All requests must be accompanied by data from the marker, but it appears to be broken. So what do we do? I don't know. We might be able to use my neurocopy number, but I don't remember it. I remember almost nothing about myself. Just like me. Well, at least you're in your home. You know about your childhood, your family. I'm not sure if I'm home. I don't know this place. Strange. Listen, why don't you start asking me questions? Anything you wish to know. Maybe that will help sort my memories. Maybe I'll even remember the number. Are you all right? I feel something is wrong with this body. I can't figure out what, but we need to hurry. Tell me about artificial bodies. About bodies? All right. They are called M bodies. Hold on. Why replace people's bodies? Because of the epidemic. There was a virus that spread across the globe. A sterility virus. They couldn't fight it, so they developed this body replacement program. Transferring consciousness from a regular body into a mechanical one. How does that help? That doesn't help sterility at all. Kind of like a personal refuge? Right. A temporary refuge. People use it to hide from decrepitude. Once the virus is cured, we'll be able to return to our regular bodies. The virus could be gone by now. It's been years. I'm dubious. I don't know. It was just so... No treatment worked. Not antibiotics, nothing. There was only one substance capable of destroying the virus, potassium. But the accumulation process was extremely slow. How was it accumulated? It was extracted from people themselves. Human beings produced it with their nervous system. Nervous system? I don't get it. Well, potassium can only be extracted from emotions. Whenever you experience an emotion, any emotion, your M-body manufactures a little bit of the substance. A substance produced by emotions? Yes. Emotions were the only thing capable of making a remedy against the virus. As a result, potassium skyrocketed in value, far surpassing everything else. And every person, they became... Everybody became a source of value? Yes, although... There were people whose substance was considered more valuable than that of others. Who were those people? People that were special, somehow. They had something. They were greatly respected, but... I can't remember. I think I figured out what's wrong with me. I can't breathe. So, hold on. <laughs> Passium is something that's generated when you feel emotions, but not by a normal body, by an M body? But if M bodies are manufactured, why do they need human emotions in order to make passium? Couldn't you just make a machine that makes passium without waiting for emotions? That's, I'm confused by this world. Breathe? You need oxygen? I simply need to inhale air. It's been inherited from my former body, a reflex. I can't get rid of it. All M bodies have a special module built in for this very purpose. It imitates breathing. Can I help you somehow? I like that detail. I need a breathing module. Could you find it for me? Where do I look? We're in the middle of the step. The step and nothing else? Describe for me what's around here. The river, some abandoned complex. What kind of complex? A big dome with multicolored sails. Hold on. Yes, I see it. 
I've got access to it. The Gerbera Garden. Enabish, I remember this name. I used to have a connection to this place. I think that it's an amusement park. It looks the part. Them body parts were stored there, in the pavilions. It should definitely have a breathing module. All right, I'll try. Wait, I actually find wanted to the ask the other pavilion. question. Crap. I'll try to find the password to the file database. It may contain my data. If I remember anything, I'll contact you. Help me understand something. What's that? Yeah. How thank is it you. that emotions produce a substance? Technically, it's not emotions that produce it, but a synchronizer. And what does it synchronize? Your consciousness with your DNA. It maintains a link between your nervous system and gene pattern. Thus, whenever you experience an emotion, doesn't matter which one, it generates something like a byproduct. That is the substance in question, passing. Why the need for DNA in a mechanical body? The consciousness cannot survive without the DNA. It perishes. How does it perish? And why? As to why, I do not know. Nobody does. Your neurocopy crumbles and you die in a fit of panic. You shake with terror for several minutes, then slip into a coma. Coma? Death, really. The neurocopy cannot be restored. Got it. So, I'm not fully satisfied with the answers you're giving to these questions. But I appreciate the fact that they're asking them in the first place. Oh, my kids are calling me. They're uh, across the country right now. Hello. Hi. Hey there. Uh, let me just, um, I'm streaming right now. Let me just shut down my stream and uh, we'll chat. Hold on a second. So uh, that's actually as good a time to stop as any uh, since you know we just sort of uncovered what seems to be the beginning of the main plot of this story, so I'm going to quit. And that was Cradle. And <laughs> my daughter's listening to me do the uh, the outro for my stream. I may be back later on uh, once, I've, once I'm done chatting with my kids, but 